Hi there, and welcome to this short introduction into structured data for developers. Let's start right at the beginning. What is structured data, and how does it benefit your website? In short, structured data is an additional machine-readable piece of information that you can put on your website to tell machines, like Googlebot, more about the content of that website. There's a wide variety of standardized ways to identify and describe your content across various verticals. The list is on the slide here is just a small selection. For the full list of verticals that are supported by Google Search, check out the link here. So if you're wondering why should you add this machine-readable semantic data in the first place, you might have actually seen some of the things that are powered by it. Many different vendors including Google, use this information to highlight your web content in many places it would otherwise not show up. Let me give you a few examples just from Google's side of things. And again, keep in mind, there are more vendors and products that use this data. When you search for recipes, for example, you may see these results with a picture, ratings, and other information. We call these rich results. These are not the only type of highlighting your web content might get in Google Search. Content from any of the other supported verticals, such as books, may show as specialized rich results too. Note that implementing structured data is not a guarantee, though. But it is a necessary step to make a website eligible for rich results. One format of specifying structured data, and the one we recommend, is JSON-LD short for JavaScript Object Notation, linked data. This can be added as a script tag on your website with the required properties and the information on your content. OK, so now we know what structured data is, why it matters, and how does it look like. But how do we get this into our websites? We can, of course, just put it in our website statically as part of the HTML or using our content management system. Luckily, the handling of structured data in Google Search is also part of the indexing process. So it does benefit from the JavaScript rendering, allowing us to also specify the structured data dynamically. However, this may vary between different vendors, and we do recommend to have a server-side solution as those tend to be more reliable and robust. If you were to use client-side JavaScript, an implementation could look something like this. Here, a script tag is created, filled with structured data coming from an API response, and injected into the document. That is a viable way of working with dynamic structured data. Alternatively, you may use Google Tag Manager to grab the information from the page and inject it into structured data templates that then go on the page in Google Tag Manager. There are many ways of getting structured data into your pages, but most importantly, you have to test your implementation to make sure your pages are eligible for rich results. So let's look at testing for a moment. The best go-to tool to test implementations during development or ad hoc, if you're interested in rich results, is our rich results test. It supports copy and paste of your code or taking a URL to test. It shows you if any markup that is used in rich results was found, what the rendered HTML looked like, as well as if the markup fulfills all the requirements necessary for the rich results. If you want to monitor your structured data across your whole site or multiple sites, you can use the free Google Search Console. It provides you with reports for each type of structured data that was detected on your pages, along with statistics on possible improvements and errors. Last but not least, using certain frameworks and language features, here we see a React web app built with TypeScript, allow you to get warnings and errors at development time. All right, that was a lot to take in, so let's summarize this real quick. So structured data is additional machine-readable information about the content of a web page. That information is standardized by the schema.org community body and used by various vendors and their products, including Google Search to highlight your web content in various ways. For Google Search, it's fine to inject this information using client-side JavaScript. 
If you want to learn more, check out our intro guide on structured data in Google Search. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope it made you excited for structured data. Stay safe, have a great time. Bye bye.